Welcome to this month's episode of Brooklyn Park Now. We're at Fitness 99 to see how a small business is getting started and helping improve the lives of members of our community. Uh, Fitness 99, we're located in Brooklyn Park, Broadview Drive. We, um, we, we are passionate about this business because um, we like to see our community growing healthy. We found out that uh, the obesity rate and uh, unhealthy people living in uh, in our community is kind of growing, so we decided to um, to open this gym to help people who, who cannot afford it, right? Yep. As, as you can see, most people when they go to other gyms, they have to pay like $100 for personal training. Yep. And for us, we decided not to give them a $100 charge for personal training. Yep. You have to pay only $20 a month. And that $20 a month, you divide about 30 days, you pay 66 cents a day. Yep. And it's just part, part of free. Well, some so, of them charge you 100 bucks to even walk in the door the yeah, first time. Yep. So. And then if you have to charge anybody 50, I mean $100 just to walk through the door or to, for personal training just for a session, you find a well, well rate of unhealthy people growing, growing massively. Yep. Yep. So we decided to do it partly free. We come here every day, rain, sun, or snow. Yep. We are here to train people from 6 Thankfully in the morning. we don't have any of that in Minnesota. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> from 6 in the morning to 10 in the night, every day besides Sundays. So we have a lot of people getting great results. People come to us, call in the office and say, thank you guys for opening this gym. Please, you guys did very well for me. I was on my couch, now I'm out. I feel happy, I feel very proud. Yeah, yep. and thank you. You've talked a lot about, you know, give back to the community and talking about, you know, making people introductions, you know, to how they, you know, people come in the door. A lot of gyms, they don't know what they're doing. Yep. And so you guys spend some time with them. Yep. A lot of people walk through the door, they don't know what to do. They get confused and get afraid because they see a gym. But we walk to them, we smile with them and bring them into the gym and teach them how to use the treadmill, use the bike, mm -hmm. get the, uh, your, we t they don't know the body parts. So yeah. we have to teach them the body, this is tricep, this is bicep, this is shoulder. You know, we try to teach them to get more confident. They, 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 and we did it for 90 days, free personal training. You get 90 days to train. In that 90 days, at least you'll be all calm and know what to do. If yep. you stay, don't know what to do, we stay there to help you. Yep. Yep. So you're there to answer questions, get people kind of, not just excited, but also make sure they're confident. Because people, yep. if they're not confident, they yep. stop coming. We make you, the first thing we have to do your awareness profile. We know where you're starting from. We, get, we, we set your goals. We know that you have, or in a month time, every month we have to check you again. We do your skill. We know the, your body fat, your muscle fat, your BMI. Mm -hmm. We have to do your cholesterol level for the time, from the beginning up to, after every month we do that to see how, how, how you, 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 you're progressing. Yeah. Yeah. And also I think you were talking about, did you do African dance sessions where you get people kind of moving and things like that? Yep, uh, we do more African dance because a lot of people don't know about African dances around here and then we, we offer that too and we find out that African dances bring a lot of cholesterol, that's high co uh, cardio training. You get a four, the five minutes stretch, stretch out. Yeah. Yep. So a lot of people get well, into that. You were talking about the stretching, where people don't even know that that's one of the things you do. Yeah, you come to the gym, you first thing you have to do, some people don't know, they have to stretch out to get their muscle flexible and relaxing. Most people just want to go start a training, lifting weight and stuff. No, we have to guide you through the process and see. And then after that, they find, oh my, I, I, I see that, I'm developing, I see that, I feel much better than when I was going to the other gym. Most of the guys you see in the back there, they were going to plan their fitness. There was nobody to talk to them, nobody to train them. Yep. Nobody to tell them what to do. When they came here, they started getting great results. They started improving. They said, wow, because they don't have the money. Yep. They cannot afford $400 to talk to a personal trainer. Yep. And some of them will give you a lot of forms. You fill out the forms, you have to pay $750 just to begin. Yep. And the result, they will walk, walk back. They can't afford it. They will stay. You find that you find people still getting sick. You get 85% chance of getting it's a five percent chance of being healthy if you exercise. It's a five percent chance of being sick if you don't exercise. Yep. Yep. Well, I think what was interesting you were telling me about how you and your partner started the business. Uh, you've paid for everything. Else. You haven't taken out loans. You haven't created that big overhead that makes you have to charge these higher rates. Yeah. So that's kind of helped you with your business plan. Yeah. Uh, what happened here is that we know very well that if you go to um, to take a loan, you'll be paying back that loan almost twice the amount you're taking. Yep. So what we did, all our little money we had in our covers, we had to put them together. They, like I can remember last year when we were trying to tow the equipment, it was snowing, we were kind of in the snow and yep. trying to struggle to get there. Yes. We never had cast fingers burning with the snow. Yep. And we were towing the, the weights in here and then, because we never had money to even say, chatter or truck, 
you have to pack some in your car, I have to pack some in my car and we drive there to get it going. Yeah. Because what we had the passion to make sure we help our people in the community to make them healthy. Yeah. 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 So, well, I think we're next we're going to do a tour and kind of get a little bit of the, uh, you're joined by your partner Rudy, yep. and get a little tour of the, the equipment and what you guys are doing. Yep. All right. Okay, thank you. Mr. Thank you. No review. Welcome. This yep. is, welcome to Fitness 99. I'm Rudy. Yep. Uh, this is Fitness 99. We a uh, small fitness club. Yep. We do multiple things in here, cardio, Zumba, African dance, we're lifting, cart exercise, and nutrition planning, and all of that here. As you can see, we got our schedule over here, the time, and the time with the different exercises. We do set, accept insurance plans here. We got a little locker, we don't have a big space, so we got a little locker. The two owners up here, my brother and I, as you can see, we offer water, cool and hot water, we offer small little tea, we offer towels, we have t-shirts, gloves, water bottle. We register, you clock in, and you walk. We got the string, string area here. Mm -hmm. Chest press, shoulder press, shoulder press, bench press, leg press, ab machine. We got put a bar, free weights, barbell, incline, leg press, decline, sit up bench. We got a little TV on the wall. We got a spin machine here. We got cable crossover. And so right here this, is where you do this the right there little space is what we have. It's what we use for our cardio dances. Our African dance, our Zumba dances right here. And we got the men's restroom back here. We got our stretches band and bars and extra standing right in here. Legs machine. And uh, we got the cardio treadmills, bikes. And we got a little office space back here. And so and you and uh, Gerald, you're always here. We're always here. And one so of us, people come one in, of you're, you're, you, you, it's not like traditional uh, kind of fitness consultants where they, you know, you set up a time, you kind of do it. You're mm -hmm. here and you work with we people. Work with people. And so they kind of get that one-on-one -on -one All the time. Touch. Versus I got to set up appointments. No. And come in there. You come in the morning, you meet Jerry. You come in the evening, you meet me. Okay. So yep. that's how we work out the schedule between okay. us. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you, Rudy, for that tour of your equipment. So, you know, big question is why Brooklyn Park? You guys made a decision, you put your sweat and blood and your own personal money into this. Well, we, as we all know, uh, Brooklyn Park is a huge immigrant community and Liberian specifically, yep. yeah, most of every block in this community has a Liberian home. Yep. We just don't rent own home, own property, own businesses, as you can see. So, and I live in Brooklyn Park and I love the city. So my brother moved from Canada with things. When I called him up, I said, we have to do this. Then we started looking for location. I said, well, we've got to do it in Brooklyn Park. This was the first place we came, but then we decided it was too small. We started looking around, but the price was too much. Yeah. So we had to come back, and luckily the place was still available. Yeah. That's why we choose Brooklyn Park. Well, I think one of the good things, people will start one place and there's other locations, so people kind of scale up, and there's lots of different buildings. So as your business grows and your needs change, you can find those things. I mean, if, if the business grows, and we should hope that it grows, we're going to relocate this part, we're not going to maintain this part. Yep. Because we want to do a bigger spot with everything into one. So do you think with the election of the new president being the former soccer star, that people are going to, there might be some kind of the Liberian community like saying, wait a minute, uh, we heard somebody who made it well, through athletics and now he's the president. He, he, was, he was the best in the world a couple of years back and uh, he still carried that title now. He's the president and he's a personal friend of mine. Yep. And we got a club here called Old Timer. He, yes. He's part of that club. I'm part of that club. He comes and we meet and talk. So now when he have won, people ask me, people call me to the act, you think he will come to your gym when he come? I don't know. He might. Yeah. He might come to see what, because my goal is to get those players to come here because some winter time they can't play. Yeah. So they got to come indoor yeah. to exercise. I've been trying to sell it to them. A few of them came, but I, ain't getting, I don't have the whole group in here yet. Yeah. So I hope he comes when he comes, he comes to Yep. to recognize Fitness 99. Well, the old timers are old in age only, but not in spirit. Because yes. I've seen them play soccer they every play weekend. Soccer. We got two uh, groups here. Old timer, another group called GMC. They yep. play soccer. And the ageable guys in the 40s and up. So I try to join both groups. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way, 40s and up. That's a good age. <laughs> I try to join both groups to get them in here. So that's my goal. So the president of Liberia now know both groups. He kind of confused now which one to go to. <laughs> so. Both of them uh, welcome, they embrace the idea that he's the president. We hope that he can do things of yeah. development to our homeland. Well, it's amazing, like when people, you know, they see you know, leaders doing things like that, you see the president and that people, I think, take the different sense or different paths to success. Yes. So, we, because he was an athlete and uh, he became president, most athletes will try looking at 
different direction after they retire too. Hopefully they can do better yep. for Africa and around the world, yep. especially Liberia. Yep. So we hope that the ideas can spread around in a positive way. Well, I think you said it before that it's not just for African, that you it's the whole community, you have a focus, you have a, but you're, you're telling people, hey, we, we're offering a program that you can't get. You can go to a big club, yeah, you spend pay more. hundreds of yes. dollars, you can come here and get some So we, we did a walk earlier in in July, I believe, we had a community walk, we had a fly up, mm -hmm. we went around from here to Regent Park and went down to 252 and dropped flyers on doors, cars, yep. wherever we could get the flyers. Mm -hmm. Whole group of here at the time, everybody went out together. I the only person stayed. So the draft flyer tried to get the community involved to move yes. what we have here. And the goal is to tell people this is 20 bucks a month. Most of you paying us 62 cents a day yep. to come here. You get free training. You can get it anywhere else. You can't beat that price in them. For what we, our services is different from the big multi million dollar gym. Mm -hmm. From the moment you walk through that door, you get someone with you for 90 days. Yep. Be with you until you leave. Teach how to use the bike, the treadmill. We have electrical, but we don't have space for it, so we didn't bring it in here. Yeah, because it's huge. You know, you gotta go this way. So we kept it in a storage. Yeah. So that's, that's for the next spot. For the next spot. Yes. Yeah. That's, okay. that's the plan. Well, thank you very much. So Matthew, you've been uh, a member here, and uh, so why did you decide to join? Well, first uh, I used to go down to Planet Fitness, but uh, but then. Later on, I know this is my own community yeah. business, so I decided to come down here to work out every yeah. time. Yeah, so I come here, like, uh, I try to be here, like, five days a week, because mm -hmm. uh, sometimes if I have the time, I come here, like, six days a week Absolutely. in the morning. From work, I come over here. And uh, since I've been coming here, there have been a lot of changes. When I used to go down to Planet Fitness, there's, because the weight in Planet Fitness is, like, it helping you. Mm -hmm. When you go on the bar, it's like something there to help you, but here it's on you. When you pick up the weight, it's on you. So yeah. it's, there's a lot of uh, uh, improvement lot of in it since the yeah. Just moving around doing right. stuff. Right, and since I came here, it been a lot of improvement I, I see in my own body then when I was doing fitness. And the atmosphere here is very friendly. Yep. You know, well, uh, you can feel that when you walk in the door. It's right. Kind of, it's not like uh, show your badge and zap and go through. It's kind of like the people talk to you. Yeah. So, I mean, we come here after working or sometimes we sit down and talk about our personal issues and stuff and mm -hmm. sometimes we, we relate here better. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And so, we're kind of always add why people do things. And so, why do you, why do you feel, why do you come here? Oh, uh, to be honest, I was at uh, uh, Edit Fitness. That's why I used to work up. Uh -huh. But then I realized that, you know, they have that of free weight. You know, so, and, you know, it's, it's like the cardio is good. You don't have to pay for personal trainer. Yes. So it's something like, you know, even though you lift no weight, but, you know, you just have to kind of get the stuff yes. about it, keep your body fit. And one of my primary reasons of coming here is to keep myself healthy. Yeah. And that's that one of the reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I think the atmosphere is very inviting. People can yes. come in. It's yes. not yeah. sterile and no, corporate. It's no, very no, personal. Yeah. You come in, it's a different All field. the time. All the time. So, anyway. Well, I, we're just always interested in hearing why people do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And now we're going to throw it to Jay, our city manager, who's going to give us an update on the city's goals. Thanks, Mayor. Yep, this last year, uh, the City Council approved Brooklyn Park 2025, our brand new community plan. Uh, the community plan has six goals, a united community, beautiful spaces, thriving economy, healthy and safe people, increased equity, and effective engaging government. We're all excited about making progress on the plan in 2018. We've been doing lots of activities that support our goals, including an invitation from the Minnesota Vikings to Zanewood Recreation Kids and the Brooklyn Park Police Department to play football together to increase communication between cops and kids. We also completed the All Are Welcome Art Contest. Have you seen the window decal at City Hall? It's really cool. The City's Human Rights Commission sponsored the contest. Last fall, the entire community was invited to submit artwork that represents our inviting community. The original idea was to select one winner whose artwork would become the All Are Welcome sign for the Brooklyn Park community. There were so many wonderful submissions that the commission decided to use all of them and created one big sign. Finally, did you know that the police chief got duct taped? The chief raised the most money for the Zanewood Recreation Center Scholarship Fund, so he got the sticky duty. Zanewood kids got the chance to do it, and they had a blast. Next, we're going to have a demonstration of a workout that you can do at home right now. 
what you're about to see is a 10 minutes home workout video. Cardio, African, suku, included with a lot of different movement of the body. It includes heart rate, pulse, blood pressure, everything is included. So as you saw, a jumping, moving the entire body, like the whole cardio dance. So you do that at home, put the music on and jump, move your body. Wherever you move, just make sure you stay at least 10 minutes. You get tired, you can slow down, you can pick up, you can go at your own pace. But you have to do at least 10 minutes, not stop. If you slow, you can even walk in your living room, go ahead and walk in the living room, but just try to move so your heart rate can go up and be, keep your blood flowing on the right peg so you can be able to get that movement of the blood. So, so that's how we do it here. Bring your arms back, bring your arms. Go, 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 go. High knees, high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees, high knees. Go, 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 go. Keep, 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 keep. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Kick, kick, kick. Half jack. Go. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
stab to the right. Go. 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 Yeah, I'm going to 